Hello, Adam Bazalgette here, founder of Scratch Golf Academy. Today's subject, golf slice fix drills, have three areas of the swing for you. Going to show you drills in each. If you do these three areas with the drills, it'll help. And I have the hat toss drill for you, you may never have seen. I really think it'll help you. If you're new to the channel and you've never subscribed, I'd love it if you do. If you do so, hit the bell, they'll be notified every time a brand new instructional video is coming your way. Also, next time at the App Store, hit Scratch Golf Academy. We have a free app with all sorts of nice training tools, great for you to take out to the range. Brooks Kepka on the left, Charles Howell on the right. Let's have a look at these takeaways. This is our first look. Hands stay the same distance from the body, give or take, but the club stays outside the hands in the beginning of the takeaway. Charles, a little bit less exaggerated in that fashion there but still club in front of body over here not behind him and this is really going to set up drill number two as well the reason this is so important is if that golf club gets behind you and gets flat it has to steepen somewhat just to hit the ball and for most people it's hard to stop it from completely coming over the top so we'll touch on it here first thing just don't take the club back engage your body and leave the club in front of you i like the image if there was a laser light pointing out of the club as you engage keep that laser light pointed in at your hip you'll feel more concave don't point the laser light there okay let's look at the pros and we'll get into this transition and the hat drill justin rose face on and down the line there's the good takeaway the engagement of the body you'll see the right the trail arm if you like separate a little from the body now watch from here this is what we want to get to there's his elbow. Watch how far he moves the club. I mean, it's moved way over here. And at the same time, his elbow's only moved a very short distance. That's what we're going to get into here with our drill. Let's look at it from this angle. And there's that club slinging back behind him with only a very moderate elbow distance. And you'll also notice that just as he's finishing that, watch his weight start to shift forward a little bit that is going to stand you in good stead. If you can do that, you're going to get that club from being more in front of you. You'll get it slinging over your shoulder and that good transition will drop it right onto plane. Okay, here's where we get to our hat toss drill. Now picture it, if you like a frisbee, if you like, if you were tossing a hat away there, what would happen is this elbow would stay fairly still. It would almost act as a swivel point for your forearm and wrist to go. That's just the sort of feeling you want once you've gotten to this stage. So picture it this way. There's your hat toss, something like that. I've never seen anybody toss a frisbee and wind up with their arm here. I've never seen that. Something more like this. Now what we want is we want our body to move the hat. We've got that takeaway and from there with a little bit of body movement, flip it. It would be more diagonally behind you in this case. So it would be back to here. Toss the hat behind you, give you a great sense of where that trail arm should be. Again, if you look at it from here, here's my body movement. Watch this elbow doesn't move all that much after I start to toss it but it creates a lot of movement in the golf club now get the golf club see if you can get the same feel right here there's my toss with just a little more movement and to translate it to the start of the downswing because I think this is really important you don't want to get there then throw the club what I want you to do once you hat frisbee or golf club once you've done that a few times you feel that toss there just add to it a little bit of movement, a little bit of pressure into that left shoe, not a wild amount of hip movement. Let's have a go here. There I am. Toss pressure. Let's do a little three-quarter swing. That's the feeling starting to get the sense of it. Let's have a quick look from here. There's my takeaway. There's the toss right there. Club goes a little bit more behind me. If you can get that club in front of you and then more behind you, it is a lot easier to swing from the inside. Let's try one. reasonably good we're going to look at putting everything together here at the very end of the video in just a moment but let's look at point number three I hope you'll visit scratchgolfacademy.com sometime you'll see full libraries of courses there that can help you build your game uh, on every conceivable part of the game also you can see how you can get online lessons with me personally okay Tiger Woods here he is he's in the slot how's he going to square it up especially if you're battling a slice you'll see some shift of his hips towards the target watch how his torso his chest slows down a bit allowing the arms to really snap and get long you'll see a little bit of this sort of a look in his body 
Many golfers, especially those that slice, will turn a lot more than that with their chest and fail to cross those hands over, effectively dragging the club across the line and leaving the face open. That is the sort of look you want. So drill for this, take your setup with a short iron and just bump your hips, push the ball forward, you'll then flick it, but for a fraction of a second it'll feel like it's on the club, keeping your head fairly still push your belt buckle and the club forward in this direction. And as you do that, as you could see me do, so I'm creating some bump in my hips, head in the same place, and I'm feeling my wrist turn under a little bit this way. So here we go, push and bump right to there. You'll finish about belt high. You'll start to get the feeling in no time. Then you can go to literally a chipping back swing. And the same sort of spot here, start to feel some pop in the golf club, really important. You get those hands and wrists turning as you do that. Now, putting all this together, basically three things. Take away, hat toss, setting it at the top, the hat toss with a little change of direction, and then this piece. What I would recommend you do, it's great to do at home, by the way. Tiger Woods, in much of his career, if you watched him, especially in the Hank Haney years, before every shot, he'd get his takeaway, he'd bounce it, top of the backswing, delivery position and through and then he'd hit his shot that's four positions you don't need that but get this takeaway handle pointed in just let bounce it just a bit feel that frisbee toss feeling that little hat toss and then just post that position up if you'll actually do that make a habit of that ongoing for a while you will start to get the feel these moves will be natural you will definitely add power and reduce your slice hope this helps you